What is up guys? I'm Nathan and this is Full Throttle Cars and today we're going to be doing sort of a vloggy slash reviewy sort of a video and we are going to be talking about the big gray truck that you have seen in previous videos. Yes, it is the F-250 with the Cummins engine in it. You guys can see it right in the distance down there and we are walking to it to actually talk to you guys today about how it can actually still be a practical truck even when you raise it 75 feet off the ground. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Hey guys, so the first thing that I'm gonna do here today to show you what this truck can actually do even when it's lifted is load quite a bit of firewood into the back of the truck. So you guys can see here, I have got a pile of firewood. This uh, runs a length of eight feet long, four feet high, 16 inches wide. I'm going to put, be putting one of these rows of firewood into the back of the truck. So that is a third of a cord. And then I'm going to be driving it to uh, a, a place where I'm actually delivering the firewood. I sell firewood and I'm going to give you guys uh, a sense of the feeling that it has uh, being a lifted truck with quite a bit of weight in the back. Okay guys, so now that I have the truck close to the firewood, I can begin to throw the firewood into the back. So one of the downsides of having a lifted truck is actually putting things into the back of the truck. Um, if you are using manual physical labor, it is going to be a little bit more strenuous whenever you're trying to put things into the back simply because you have to throw the firewood higher. And you guys will see me do that and see me struggle maybe a little bit whenever I'm putting the firewood into the back. So I'm just gonna set you guys up and we'll do a time lapse of me throwing all the firewood into the back. Okay guys, so now that I have the truck close to the firewood, I can begin to throw the firewood into the back. So one of the downsides of having a lifted truck is actually putting things into the back of the truck. Um, if you are using manual physical labor, it is going to be a little bit more strenuous whenever you're trying to put things into the back simply because you have to throw the firewood higher. And you guys will see me do that and see me struggle maybe a little bit whenever I'm putting the firewood into the back. So I'm just going to set you guys up and we'll do a time lapse of me throwing all the firewood into the back of the truck. Okay guys, if you have enjoyed this video so far, please be sure to drop a like and subscribe. Help push Nick and I to 2,000 subscribers. Okay guys, as you can see, it easily fits one third of a quart of firewood with still room to spare. You could probably fit at least another half of a third or in total one half of a quart of firewood into the back of this six foot bed and the truck would still get along just fine. So now we're going to hop into the driver's seat and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you a little bit of an insight as to what it feels like driving with quite a bit of weight in the back compared to what it feels like driving when there is nothing in the back. Okay guys, now we are just about to get down off of my driveway onto the road and I can give you a little bit of an insight as to what it feels like driving this truck. I'm going to have to hold on to the camera here a little bit guys so you might see my arm getting in the way a little bit. But just starting off, I, I don't really notice much whenever I'm accelerating the truck. It's not too much weight in the back there. It's, it's not really affecting how the truck is accelerating. Uh, the only times that I do notice it are a little bit when I'm turning. I can, as I'm uh, turning right now, feel that the truck has a little bit more inertia going in that one direction and it does not want to turn quite as much as it would if the truck was simply empty. Just going on these straight stretches, guys, you do not feel a thing. Uh, there is no difference to be told. Alright guys, so I hope that you can still hear me. But to summarize everything that I have just said, accelerating, you can hardly tell a difference. Uh, making turns, you can tell a little bit of a difference with more weight in the back. And decelerating while making turns, that is the uh, biggest, biggest point of when you can feel that there is more weight in the back. And especially while making sharp turns, that is probably the biggest time that you feel a lifted truck going at your disadvantage whenever you have more weight in the back because it is more top heavy. Okay guys, so I just dropped off all of that firewood. Unfortunately, I could not show you guys that process because it was somebody else's home. I wanted to respect 
respect their privacy. But I'm just going to give you guys a rundown. Unloading uh, something off of a high truck, there is no problem at all. We were just chucking it onto the ground. Um, so unlike loading it, there wasn't near as much of a, uh, of a burden caused by the lifting of the truck. So yeah, do not think that unloading it is going to be as hard as loading the truck if you are intending on jacking up your truck, getting it a few extra inches off of the ground. All right guys, so after dropping off that load of firewood, I am now coming to Tractor Supply Company, this local tractor supply company, and I have to pick up some high tensile wire. We are putting up some maple sap lines, so just doing one more thing with this truck before we end the video. All right guys, so that is going to do it for today's video on the practical application video of the F-250 Fummins that is lifted off the ground. In conclusion, the truck performed magnificently with very little detriments. If you guys did enjoy this video, please be sure to drop a like and hit that subscribe button. Bye guys.